really didn't think of all of this happening. And now it just came so fast, so it's just been a great journey so far. I started playing football when I was like five years old, so you know, I was like, man, I want to be in the NFL. With the 10th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the St. Louis Rams select Todd Gurley, running back, Georgia. When you've got a player like Todd, you're not limited in any way that you can use him, Lindsey. So he can run, he can protect. It's not going to say he was fine, but they thought he was going to be okay. And now it's something where, to my understanding, like his status is really, his status is really up in the air. I don't know, you know, I don't know if he's going to play. To be clear, you, you said there's no doubt, so you're done, right? You're not coming back. Oh, right? yeah, Mo most definitely. All right, 28 years old, Todd. It was a great career. Todd Gurley was one of the best running backs across the NFL in his prime seasons. However, due to a drastic change in his health, he would quickly fall off and disappear from the spotlight. This is the story of Todd Gurley and his downfall. You obviously uh, didn't play in the NFL last year. Um, <laughs> is there any update on that? Do you want to go back uh, to the NFL or have you moved on? Man, I'm good, man. I've been, been enjoying my life, spent yeah. a lot of time. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, been been on the road for the last, I mean, since 2012, since I left high school. So just being able to just spend a lot of time with my family. This is the most time I ever spent with my family since since I left before high school. So definitely, definitely haven't been, you know, focusing on trying to play, to be honest. To start his NFL career, Todd Gurley quickly rose to fame after having a very impressive rookie season. Totaling 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns, he'd go on to win Rookie of the Year. His efficiency in the league would only continue to ramp up in the following seasons. But to get the full story of why Todd Gurley's career had to end so soon, we first need to look back at his college years. As while in the NCAA, Todd Gurley attended Georgia, and he played for the Bulldogs. Todd Gurley became unstoppable during his college career, finishing with 6.5 yards per carry and over 3,800 total yards, ending it off with 42 touchdowns. Now, while everything seemed good for Todd Gurley on the surface level, he was productive on the field and he was heading to the NFL. However, like most stories, when something's going great, something always goes wrong, as during his junior year with the Bulldogs, he would sustain a nasty ACL tear. An MRI confirmed he won't play the rest of the season with a torn ACL. So as you can see in this video, Gurley was able to walk off the field without any help, but his left knee was wrapped in ice. Later, Gurley was carted away. Well, you never know for sure what's going on on the inside, but he seems to be handling it very well. Without a doubt, one of the best, you know, run backs I've ever seen, I've ever coached. Practiced hard, played hard, loved the big games and played his hard out for Georgia. We're giving away a PS5 as well as multiple copies of the new Madden 24. Subscribe and like the video to be entered. The ACL injury that he sustained would frequently disturb his NFL career in the years to come. Medical professionals have stated that after sustaining a badly torn ACL, it's almost guaranteed to leave long-term effects on the body, which will heavily limit one's athletic ability in the future. In most cases, it comes from arthritis. As a football doctor would go on to share his opinion. Once you tear your ACL, your knee joint is never going to be the same. Looking back at Gurley though, they supposedly said that he didn't have any other damage and it was purely an ACL tear. So with the case of Gurley, it's really hard to know exactly why he's developed arthritis in that knee. I really don't think this is like going to end his career or be really detrimental. It's hard to know just how advanced this could be. While most teams would avoid drafting a player with a previously torn ACL, Todd Gurley was just too good of a prospect to pass on. The Rams would end up selecting him 10th overall in the NFL draft, and he would get off to a very quick start in his rookie year. As mentioned, Todd Gurley was expected to break multiple NFL records with his unbelievable first season. However, in 2016, Todd Gurley didn't have the greatest of year in production which is believed to have been primarily due to the coaching staff, as Todd Gurley totaled just six touchdowns and under 1,000 rushing yards, alongside a very low yards per carry average of three and a half, which he would go on to speak about here. How would you categorize your second season? Like a nightmare. You know, it's like, I still can't believe, you know, um, the season. You know, it was definitely a tough year. 
a learning experience for, for me. You know, we got a new coach and just try to bring everybody back to buy in for the next year and, and make, make it better than it was in 16. However, everything would go on to change when the Rams would hire new head coach Sean McVay in the year 2017. Todd Gurley, he would become a star in this Rams offense. Sean McVay brought an entirely new offensive scheme to the Rams, and he found many ways to increase Gurley's production while on the field. As in the 2017 season beginning, Todd Gurley was a new animal under Sean McVay. Gurley finished with a ridiculous stat line of over 2,000 total yards, 19 touchdowns, and an average carry of 4.7 per attempt. Todd Gurley would go on to win Offensive Player of the Year for his performance, and he came second in the MVP race, just behind the GOAT Tom Brady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Came to this award show two years ago, got the, the Rookie of the Year, man. Just honored to be able to be in this position. You know, thank the Lord, thank my mom. Thank Coach McVay, man. And just for coming in and just, you know, just helping me and my teammates get this award. You know, AD got defensive player. Just appreciate y'all for motivating me, inspiring me to be who I am. Thank you. NFL players would further rank him sixth overall across all positions in the NFL Top 100 players list in 2018. As just before he entered the last season of his rookie contract, Todd Gurley would go to sign a massive extension with the Rams, and he sealed the deal on a four-year, $60 million contract extension extension with $45 million in guaranteed money, making him by far the highest paid running back ever at the time. Most would argue that Gurley was also the best running back in the league so the money was indeed well spent at the time for the talent he was producing. In the season following the extension, Todd Gurley would continue just dominating, making the Rams look suitable for giving him the extension that he deserved, as they would finish with an impressive 13-3 record. As with Gurley's numbers looking unreal again, posting another 1,800 plus yards, 21 touchdown in just 14 games played, even Sean McVay was loving how well Gurley was playing this year year. I think the point is is that you want to be able to give Todd uh, you know more opportunities. When you've got a player like Todd, you're not limited in any way that you can use him. Anytime that you have somebody that's as versatile as he is that can really play all over the formation, he can run, he can protect. It's fun to be able to have great players. Not only is he a great player, he's extremely smart works hard. Um, he represents what's right about how you handle yourself as a teammate, as a leader. And, and just as mentioned earlier, when everything's looking great, something usually bad happens next. This is when his past ACL injury would then begin catching up with Todd Gurley, leaving him out of the final two regular season games. As the Rams initially made this look like he was just sitting out to prepare for playoffs. However, reports would then be leaked, revealing that Todd Gurley was dealing with ongoing knee inflammation throughout the entire season. It would quickly be worse and worse towards the end of the season, hence the reason for sitting out. As during the postseason, Gurley would then begin struggling a lot in their matchups. In the NFC Championship game, Todd Gurley ran four times for 10 yards and a touchdown alongside only one catch. I think the point is, is that you want to be able to give Todd, uh, you know, more opportunities. And, you know, he can only do so much when you get four attempts carrying the football and, and a couple opportunities where it's just not real clean look. So uh, that's where, you know, you feel like you have an obligation. And um, anytime that you have a player like Todd Gurley on your team, you know, you got I've got to do a better job of, you know, getting him involved and getting him into the flow of the game. And then when entering Super Bowl 53 against the Patriots, Todd Gurley's injury status was all over the place. Sources claiming that he was healthy, others saying his knee was hurting so much more than the Rams were letting on. As during the Super Bowl, Todd Gurley would rush for just 35 yards on 10 carries, resulting resulting in the offensive performance of the Rams being one of the worst in Super Bowl history as they would only score three points. Both the Saints and the Patriots had great defenses that year. It would make him a lot less productive to go against. But Gurley was barely even getting the attempts throughout these games, which made things concerning. A month after Super Bowl 53, reports indicated that Todd Gurley was experiencing arthritis in his left knee, which is the exact same leg that had the ACL injury in college. He had already begun feeling the long-term effects of the injury. However, Sean McVay and the Rams still believe that Todd Gurley would be okay for the next 2019 season. Yes, hey man, sir. fans want to know, how's Todd Gurley's knee doing? He's doing good, man. He's good to see good. you, brother. He'll be back next year ready oh, to yeah. go? He'll be good. All right, cool. You're the man. Thanks, coach. 
as jumping into the 2019 season, Todd Gurley's production just couldn't match what he previously did in 2017 and 2018. Gurley was permanently injured after the wear and tear that he had been going through in the prime years as well as the past injury that he sustained making him lose the golden talent that he once had on the field. As we even saw reporter Ian Rappaport share his thoughts about Gurley's injuries in 2019. What's the latest that you hear from Ty Gurley and this mysterious quadriceps injury that came out of nowhere? I'm not going to say he was fine, but they thought he was going to be okay. And now it's something where his status is really up in the air. I, you know, I don't know if he's going to play on Sunday. I really don't. I wish I did. Um, I know they're getting the other guys ready to play. They are okay in doing everything they can to make sure that Gurley is ready late in the season. It's not a situation where everyone goes, yeah, he's fine, don't even worry about it. It's not like that. As Todd Gurley would begin looking very slow while leading up to the line of scrimmage from beginning his run, he failed to even post a 100-yard game throughout the 2019 season, and he just didn't look anywhere near like the same running back as years prior. However, Gurley continued to be good in the red zone and getting in for the touchdown, but those huge plays that we were all used to just weren't there anymore and he finished the year off just over 1,000 total yards and 14 touchdowns. Following the down year of 2019, the Rams would surprisingly release Todd Gurley despite the massive contract extension that he was signed to. What happened with the Rams and Todd Gurley that you guys figured it was time to part ways, coach? Unbelievable what he's done over the five years that he was a Ram. I couldn't be more appreciative of, of our time together. And I uh, Is this an injury thing? Is he the same player, Coach? I mean, it just seems to be a question that's always been lingering. You know, there's a lot of things that, that go into to tough decisions, Rich. And, and um, you know, what I could say is I just wish him the best in Atlanta. I think they got a good football player. It didn't take long for another team to take a chance on Gurley. He quickly signed with the Atlanta Falcons to a one-year, $5.5 million deal, and he was back in the NFL. However, things didn't really work out for the Falcons either. Gurley continued to regress in his production on the field, hosting 670 yards for three and a half yards per carry, as well as a few touchdowns. By the time the next offseason came around, it seemed as if no team was willing to offer Gurley another deal. The risk of paying him a good salary while he's been dealing with the pain in his knee for the last few years just didn't seem worth it. What was once the best running back in the league quickly turned out to not even be worth the league minimum in just two years. Todd Gurley would somewhat disappear from the public eye for another two years following until he finally announced that he had no plans of coming back to the NFL. To be clear, you, you said there's no doubt, so you're done, right? You're not coming back. Oh, right? yeah, most definitely. All right, 28 years old, Todd. It was a great career. Man, I'm good, man. I've been been enjoying my life, spending yeah. a lot of time. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, been been on the road for the last, I mean, since 2012, since I left high school. So just being able to just spend a lot of time with my family. This is the most time I ever spent with my family since since I left before high school. So definitely, definitely haven't been, you know, focusing on trying to play, to be honest. 